Hello Trade Pros, this is Victor from Trade Pro Academy and today we've got another special video for you. And today we're going to be looking at how we trade ES futures with just a constant volume bar chart. So what is a constant volume bar chart? It's a chart in front of me, you guys can see it right here. And the constant volume bar chart displays a different candle each time X amount of contracts have traded. So I have it set up as a 500 volume chart right now. So every time 500 contracts of ES trade, another bar will print. So today we're going to be going over trend trading with constant volume bar charts, how to stay on the trend with a constant volume bar chart, and how great they are for picking out levels of entry and exit and rotations along with areas of dispute within the market. So first, I just want to explain what I have on this chart quickly for you guys. Of course, constant volume bar chart. I'm using Sierra charts, great futures trading software. And what I have on the chart today is just a very simple support resistance tool, which is a rectangle drawn on Sierra charts, where I've found previous support and resistance to lie on previous price action. So this just goes back a long, long time ago. And also, we've got some moving averages for you. And all we're going to be doing today is trading just using the constant volume bar chart. Sounds a little too easy and a little too simple, but it can be very effective. So first things first, we've got to identify the trend. What trend is the market currently in? And if it's in a range, it's going to bounce between support and resistance. If it's in an uptrend, you're going to see higher highs, higher lows. And if it's in a downtrend, you're going to see lower lows, lower highs. And guess what? We're in a downtrend right now. You can see lower lows, lower highs are clearly printing. And each high and low is marked with a wick. Remember that. Wicks are going to be key in today's lesson. Also, guys, if you're wondering what these blue and red boxes are, let me know in the comment section below and we'll do a whole different video for you guys on that. It's some of our secret sauce. So right now we're currently printing lower lows and lower highs. We're in a clear downtrend. And to stay on trend with the constant volume bars, there's one simple easy trick. We're gonna be looking at wicks and rebounds, retests into our resistance areas. So what does that even mean? Constant volume bars are great because they show you doji-like prints in a sideways rotationary fashion right here. These are great little tools for finding entries and rotations to get into the side of the trend. So right here, these moving averages have dropped bearish. You can see bearish crossover here. And you can see one, two, three, four wicks at these highs printed before dropping lower. So what we want to see with these constant volume bars is doji fighting areas. So these are areas of rotation into our resistance bands that will prompt us with a good sell location to keep on side of the trend. Today it's January 22nd, the day I'm doing this video, and the downtrend is in clear control. The bears are out to play today. Our next level is going to be right where this support, right where it was new low printed, and you can see this was an area of fight. You can see a lot of dojis printed around here, around this area. A lot of buyers came in to prop this thing up. They don't want to let go of it. Now what these dojis represent is a level of contention, a strong battle area. This is a battleground. So as it drops into this area, you can see one, two, three dojis print. And this just means that the sellers are losing some ground. They're kind of losing grip on the steering wheel. So the buyers are coming in and this is what prompts the fight. So in a constant volume bar chart, when you see a first, a reversal candle means either a doji or just the opposite of what the current trend is. You can see the downtrend just presses down with large black candles. And what you want to see is the first white candle print, which is the reversal candle. So right here, you can see it gets stalled out by the buyers in a doji fashion and our first reversal candle prints. This could be indication of a potential rebound higher before we do look for the continuation of the downtrend. Now, the downtrend comes out, nice little doji prints, and the same thing happens again here, but it's a lower low and a lower high. One, two, three, this is the high. Right here, guys, one, two, three, four dojis. The reversal candle prints right here, huge white run up and then the black candle comes in and prints you can see these are the dojis right here into our resistance band and 
so far the downtrend is holding strong. So this is how we use the constant volume bar rotation candles and the dojis. So what we want to see is a level of fight back into our resistance area. These resistance areas and support areas are very simple to draw. You just look for previous resistance and support areas of fight. So right here, a double bottom forms and then it just rebounds higher. This is a level of support. Again, look, comes into our resistance slash support area after being broken and it prints all of these rotationary candles, all these dojis. These are fighters. These are sellers coming in aggressively into the market trying to prop this thing lower. Our next target is just below the support level where these dojis again, the reversal candle prints. And then we have a doji one, two, three. These are fight dojis and they come in to save the buyers before they can get beat up a little more. Now you can see a reversal candle attempted to print here where we get our first white candle on the way lower. Once we do, this could be a little, a little area of fight, maybe a rebound higher. This could be a low, who knows, but so far the downside is prevailing. Remember, if we got in at this trade around these 21 halves, 21 three quarters, we could have easily been out for full profit right here, two points at the bottom of this move. You don't have to fall in love with the position as long as you're trailing the stop lower, you can accumulate more profit. You can see this area of fight here didn't really last too long. The white reversal candle came in, but the downside still prevailed. Remember, our target was just below this area right here. If we can print candles lower than the support, again, lower lows, lower highs are forming, and we look for another rebound up. We look for a stall in that upward momentum with our CVB, constant volume bar, doji prints, our fight dojis for a reversal lower. It's a pretty simple way of trading, but it's effective. What you're looking for is the rotations. Rotations are key and they help you keep on the side of the trend. You can see we printed just below that support level. So our targets met, whatever happens here, we've succeeded. If it comes up, rallies into this resistance level, we could potentially look for another short opportunity. Boom, look, it clears, it continues to drop lower. So remember guys, our constant volume bars, great for tracking the trend. Great for getting in on the side of the trend. And it's one simple tool that you have to take away from this. It's the rotations and the fight dojis that happen at a certain predetermined level. This is what leads price action movement, volume bars. This is the epitome of price action right here, channeled within these volume bar candles. So guys, this is a quick little video. Simple trading tactic using ES futures to generate profitable trade ideas just using this one chart. If you want to know what these little boxes are, these red and blue boxes, drop a comment below and we'll see what we can do for you guys. This is Victoria from Trade Pro Academy. I really hope you enjoyed this short little video. It could be a very useful tool in your trading arsenal. And just comment below what you think if you'd like another similar video. And I'll see you guys in our next video.